Hey guys, welcome to episode 10 of my Arsenal career mode. Sorry this episode's taken a while to get put out, I've been really busy so I haven't been able to edit it. But here we go, we're playing Reading away from home, it's a big game. We win, we go back on top of the table, I think we have a game in hand on Tottenham, who were first on 37 points and we're second on 35 points. So, the big rivals leading the race at the moment, but if we win, we go on top, and that's all that counts. Basically an unchanged lineup going into this game. Is Kozola has got the ball. Shirawi's been a revelation this season. It's going to be such a good play as we all know. Though to be fair, Reading were really good early. Their defence was really solid. I couldn't really get past them. You'll see here, I'm just trying to take shots. They're getting the players in the right positions. Blocking the balls going into the box. And look at all the players back that they've got. And I've only got about four or five. And they look like they've got about six or seven. They just double team me every time. Until here where I finally get a chance, but then they've got their beautiful keeper and he just blocks the ball. Just really couldn't get a clear-cut chance. Really annoying. Here yeah, I'm just trying to dodge them and use my pace. Cuts in. And then again, see they get the players right in the spot that they need and it just was really frustrating. And then again the keeper blocks. So I dominated this first half, couldn't get a goal. Good cross here and a solid head from Murtisaka. But again, no return for my effort. And that was it for the first half. Going 0-0. Not losing. Not quite like the games we've played against Reading this season in real life. That when it's 0-0 you can always pinch a goal and just hold. And by the way I was going, I was definitely going to get a goal. I was crossing my fingers anyway. You can see there a lot of possession, a lot of shots. Reading started really well in the second half though. That was really lucky. Nearly scored an own goal. Luckily I didn't. There's a free kick. Really weak effort there. I don't really have any good free kick takers apart from Podolski. But I don't think he started this game actually. Kozola gets it on the wing. Cuts it into Wilshere. Trying to pass the ball in to the bar, into the goals and that just didn't work. So I thought let's change it. Let's change it up. There you go. No Podolski's on the bench. So I think I eventually bring him on. There we go. Kozola off. Chamberlain's coming back from his injury, so I thought I'd give him like 10 minutes just to see how he goes. Immediate Im impact from Podolski gets the ball here. Waits for the run for Shirawi. Oh, look at that. Look at that for a ball over the top of the defense. The only way we could beat Reading, and it had to be perfect, and it was. And a beautiful finish from Shirawi. Critical goal again. Podolski's just in very good form. In these close games, he's really the difference, as you've seen in the last episodes. He's scoring late goals, he's creating late goals. It's really been player of the year so far for Arsenal. Off the bench as well. First minute and bang, he sets up a goal. And that was it really. That was the whole game. 1-0, massive win. Puts us back on top. Still only one loss for the season, I believe, so we're in very good form. Cedric and Shirawi were best on. Podolski was very good as well for the five minutes that he played. And the stats say it all, really. Look at that. I think that's two games in a row that I've kept teams to no shots on target basically which is well no shots at all which was a very good effort but now on to the next game guys we've got wig and athletic away from home big game they're bottom of the table on eight points as you can see we're in we're on second on 38 points while tottenham have got their game ahead again and they won and they're on 40 points so we win this we go back on top the wigan do have a pretty dangerous team it does it does have to be said they've got coney and they've got DeSantos. Some very, very fast players, so I was a bit worried about Murtisacker in this game. But I just thought, let's just play the way I did, attack the defence, this opened it up. Podolskin's right foot is pretty good, but in that case he wasn't too great. Shirawi creating another chance. Leitner, oh my god! What a finish from Leitner. What an angle, and he just hit it perfectly. A young superstar in the making, definitely. What a finish. Good shot here from Kozola. Oh, Shirawi. Look at that. He's basically on the line and he somehow scores. Unbelievable goal. Great start. Finally an early goal. I don't score many of those. Wigan putting on the pressure and weak effort there. Chesney really had nothing to do. Kone again. I knew he was going to cause most of the problems. And DeSanto. Chamberlain. <laughs> gives, gets it back, crosses it in, and they... Oh, here we go, look at that. Get it back. 
it's just so frustrating when you, you have the ball so much, so close to goal, and you can't really get a decent chance. And then you have a chance like that, and nothing happens from it. But that was it for the first half. I I would say I dominated them. They, they were pretty good. I had a few half chances, but I had most of the clear-cut chances. Man City have won 2-0 against Reading, so they stay in the title race. Now we get into the second half. Need a second goal to seal the game, though. Sitting on 1-0 is just a risky risky thing to do. Murdersacker rips through the midfield. When have we ever seen that, guys? A a threw a ball from Murdersack. Unbelievable. I thought he should have gone the whole way. No, he passes it to Shirawi. Cuts in. Opens up the angle and smashes it into the top right corner. Another goal for Shirawi and Arsenal. Definitely the seal and now 2 0. That was all Murdersacker, though. The assist from Murdersacker was brilliant. Took it from defence and ripped through the midfield, threw a ball, and finished off the job. Leitner controls it here on the edge of the box. Shoots. Another good block. And they clear it out. Again, as always, got to make the changes. Wolcott's pretty tired. So obviously, straight swap there for Gazzola, who's going to go on the right. Diaby for some stability. So I don't leak a goal. I like to keep a clean sheet, as always. But Wigan got pretty close. And Murdersacker, the man of the moment, just gets in the way. And there you go. Full time, guys. That was it. 2 0 Arsenal. Go back on top again. Very important win. Two very important away wins. Shirawi best on by a mile. Murdersaka 8.4. I thought he should have been best on. But anyway, guys, that's it for the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video below. Comment below. Tell me what you thought of the episode. How your Arsenal career mode is going. How your FIFA 13 career mode is going. Anything Arsenal. I'll respond to all comments. And subscribe above for all of my Arsenal match reviews. And all of my FIFA 13 career mode videos as well. Episode 11 should be coming out very shortly. We're back on top, very important there, Super Chamberlain, he's in amazing form. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, and have an awesome week.